Professor Andrew Steer has spent the last 20 years working on some of the world's most neglected diseases. They're also diseases that affect hundreds of millions of people globally. And those three different diseases are rheumatic heart disease, tropical skin infections and strep A, and they're all kind of interlinked in some way. Tropical skin infections include scabies, an infestation of tiny mites that burrow under the skin and cause intense itching. Scabies can lead to secondary bacterial infections when scratching and sores allow bacteria like Streptococcus A into the body. Strep A bacteria commonly cause skin infections, but can also result in kidney damage and possibly increase the risk of rheumatic heart disease. These diseases are a huge problem in the Pacific region. Up to one child in every classroom might be affected by rheumatic heart disease in the Pacific, and usually one in two children are affected by scabies. Professor Steer has focused much of his research and work as a paediatric physician in efforts to control the spread of scabies in the Pacific. Ivermectin is an anti-parasitic drug that is highly effective in treating individual cases of scabies. But Professor Steer's team has proved the treatment can be successfully scaled up to control scabies on a population level. We did a series of trials that showed that giving a whole population of the one-time ivermectin can reduce the prevalence of scabies quite substantially in one of our studies from 33% to less than 2%. A single round of ivermectin can have a sustained impact on the prevalence of scabies, and the trials have since been scaled up to national programs. What we're really hoping to do is have the national programs we're currently supporting in Fiji and Solomon Islands as like a template for what could be achieved in other countries, bringing the prevalence down to, you know, levels that are similar to what we'd see in the eastern seaboard of Australia, so that it's a clinical problem, not a public health problem. Global collaboration is key to Professor Steer's work. He's director of the World Scabies Program and also co-chairs the Strep A Vaccine Global Consortium to help accelerate international progress in developing a safe and effective vaccine against the Strep A bacteria. The ultimate aim of the Strep A vaccine in my mind is to prevent the severe complications, so particularly rheumatic heart disease. On the ground, Professor Steer has also worked with Pacific communities to tackle high rates of rheumatic heart disease through early detection. They've trained nurses and community health workers on using echocardiograms for screening. Professor Steer says it's crucial that local researchers and medical professionals are empowered in these disease control programs. A focus to my global health work is around decolonisation of global health, which means supporting leadership of people in the countries who are affected by the diseases, building capacity and building that leadership. This work is deeply personal for Professor Steer. As a young medical student, he took a year off and moved to Samoa, where he worked with a local paediatrician on rheumatic heart disease research. I realised the power of research, particularly related to public health, and I also completely fell in love with the Pacific. After his time in Samoa, he lived in Fiji with his family for three years. We were working on the evidence base to support starting a, a national program to control rheumatic heart disease, which I'm now very proud to say has been running for over a decade and is making impacts in Fiji. These efforts have now seen Professor Steer awarded the prestigious Gustav Nussel Medal from the Australian Academy of Science. Science.